Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays outside the Pilates studio, where we take our Pilates bodies and brain out into the real world. I'm your host, Anne Matee, and today we're going to talk about arm work outside. I have found two rocks in the woods, and we're going to talk about how we oftentimes in our culture need more outside time. So if you're out for a walk or at the playground or out for a run, take a few minutes to think about how you can take Pilates into your real life. So we're outside the studio here and I have found these two craggy rocks, which is kind of nice for my skin and my muscles to have to hold on to something um, that's not perfectly round or a nice smooth barbell. So that's like a good little feedback for my hands to get kind of, you know, dirty. And then we're just going to do our regular Pilates arm work, but outdoors, which is lovely. So we could do any type of footwork you want with it, but let's just start with our little Pilates V. And we can do everything you would do on a reformer. And you're just using the rocks as your resistance instead of springs or straps or on the Cadillac, right? So we can do our hug a tree arms, which is really nice. All of your same Pilates alignment, right? We can do our serve a tray. Right? So you can do any of these variations, which are really lovely to do outdoors. So we can do some over the head tricep presses, like salute, right? or shave the back of the head. You can come behind the head, being on your toes, drawing your front ribs into your back ribs, all the cues you know. A way to add a little balance challenge to this is just rise up on your toes. So you have to wrap your legs a little bit, draw into your belly, and then you have a whole nother set of exercises here, right? You could get down and do a little bit of triceps, lifting up and back, and it's a great way. You're just running around outside with your kids. Just grab a couple rocks, walk with them, play with them, do everything you know from the Reformer or Cadillac, and it's really fun. Good for your hands, too. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. We'd love to hear from you, so comment below on our forum, on Twitter or Facebook, and we'll see you next time.